Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, if you are new here, I am a mother of three, and in today's video, we are jump-starting our Cracktober series. If you do not know what Cracktober is, I will be sharing with you tons of different Crock-Pot recipes. I might throw in an Instapot recipe here or there, depending on, I don't know, what I find online. I like to try out new recipes, as well as share some of my all-time favorite recipes that I've been using for years. So today's video is going to be our homemade meatball recipe. We make these for meatball subs and I also make them for spaghetti and meatballs. They're great for bringing to like a holiday party or a football party as just like an appetizer. So if you guys like some good old Italian meatballs, then just keep watching. Okay, so for today's video, these are all the ingredients you're going to need as well as whatever spaghetti sauce you like. I'm going to be using our homemade sauce and I will show you how I season that after I uh, make up the meatballs. So first you're going to need some Italian style breadcrumbs and some salt and pepper. I love freshly, freshly ground salt and pepper. You can use regular if you don't have that. Some Italian seasoning, parsley, oregano, and basil. You will also need an onion, one egg. Depending on how much meat you have, you might need two eggs. This will just help to keep the meat stuck together. And then I have some ground beef that I took out of the freezer this morning. I also have two mixing bowls, one for my meat, and then I like to keep one of these as like a garbage bowl for whatever garbage I have while I'm cooking. This is a Rachel Ray bowl and that's what she's always used. I am obsessed with it. <laughs> I got that at Walmart. So these are all the ingredients you're going to need for your meatballs. And like I said, make sure whatever kind of sauce you like, however you like to season it, you're going to want that as well. All right guys, so for your sauce, this is everything you're going to need. Now, I shouldn't need to add any of these, but I'm just showing you what I normally would add to my sauce. When we canned our homemade sauce, I had already added all of these ingredients. So, to our homemade sauce, we usually do garlic powder, basil, Italian seasoning, parsley, oregano, some thyme, but I did not have that just to show you. Salt and pepper, minced garlic and sugar. Now I did not add sugar 
to this sauce. So I'm going to be adding the sugar, I'm going to be adding some minced garlic as well as some of the leftover diced onion. And I will taste test it in a little bit just to see if I need to add anything more. But this is what I always add to our homemade sauce. We have a little guest with us. Are you gonna help me make some sauce? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the sugar in first. Okay, gonna, well first we gotta get the sauce in, okay? I'm gonna put the sugar on top of All right. the top. We say we keep. We get to Back up. Okay. Get ready? Wow. Wow, now I can put the sugar in. Now you can put the sugar in. On the top. On the top. Pour the whole thing in there. 